Dude, did you know that a new star appeared in the sky about a thousand years ago? Really? Yeah, on July 4th in the year 1054, Chinese astronomers documented the guest star's appearance. And Native American petroglyphs, such as those in Shaco Canyon, also illustrate the appearance of a brilliant new star at that time. It was much brighter than everything, aside from the sun and the moon. Anyone with a good view of the northern sky was able to see it in broad daylight for over 20 days and at night for nearly two years years before it completely faded out of view. How does a star just disappear? Well, as it turns out, what these people witnessed was not a new star, but the cataclysmic decimation of an old one. The supernova of 1054 AD, a stellar explosion that gave rise to what we now know as the Crab Nebula. The remains of a star that was 10 times the size of our sun, which at the end of its life cycle collapsed suddenly and exploded gloriously, scattering its guts across the the galaxy and shining with the brilliance of billions of suns combined. Left behind in the heart of the nebula is an object with a frightening density, second only to black holes, a stellar corpse known as a neutron star, which, due to the conservation of angular momentum, spins insanely fast. 30 times every second, generating a mind-numbingly powerful magnetic field as a result, causing twin beams of radiation to shoot out from either end as they're swung rapidly around space. Thank goodness this wasn't nearby. Definitely would not be here to talk about it if it was, but yeah, even the speed of light takes over 6,500 years to reach the Crab Nebula from Earth. And here's what's crazy about that. Humanity saw the supernova about a thousand years ago, but it actually happened about 7,500 years ago. We just didn't know about it until the light from that explosion finally reached us. Oh, space is too much.